Hey guys, in this video I'll show you 321,000 in 90 days with Pinterest ads exclusively case study and basically I'll show you how we structure the ads on Pinterest, I'll show you uh, the main components of the successful campaigns on Pinterest, I'll show you how to find examples uh, and how to structure the creative uh, production so you can constantly uh, get new creatives uh, created for the uh, Pinterest. So I'll show you all of these elements in this video, guys. And by the way, if you're looking for this like full case study of exact same uh, product that I'm showing you in this, uh, in this video, then um, you should sign up for a waiting list. There should be a link below this video. Uh, this is the waiting list for our full uh, case study and training where I'll show you basically all of these elements that reveal the product, the funnel, uh, the advertising, the targeting, all of these elements. So if you're looking for that, there should be a waiting list. It should be now soon so you guys can get access to it so um if and then now i'll just basically show you the overview of all of this so you can get some elements of it and implement it for your own pinterest ads thank you guys and let's get started <laughs> hey guys so you can see here uh, i am inside of the ad account on Pinterest. And so you can see, I'll show you these stats. So you can see, for example, in landing days you know, of this month, uh, we have spent, we're spending from three, about three, to uh, some of the days more like $7,000 a day. And on average, we had 3.39 X return on ad spent here on, uh, on Pinterest. And we have done overall $321,000 in sales with it. So this is the cost per click on Pinterest. So uh, the cost per click on Pinterest is about 20, 30, uh, sometimes a bit higher cents. And um, now it's a bit higher uh, because it's end of the quarter. Um, and uh, a lot of the a lot of the big companies, that's probably what you ha guys have noticed on your side as well with your businesses is that whether it's on Facebook or on Pinterest or on other ad platforms that the CPMs uh, might have been like increased because the businesses that have like a lot of marketing budgets, they might have some surplus of that budget and end of the quarter they have to just spend it, right? So they would just like spend a huge amount of money where, you know, then that artificially because of, uh, because of big amount that they're spending, that artificially raises the CPMs also, we have uh, some of the holidays now that also impacting the level of, uh, you know, CPMs and competition and stuff like that. So, uh, but overall, these are great results. You can see here, as you can see, total CPA is like $39. So we are selling higher ticket product. Uh, so we're selling the product for over $100. That's not the only way to make it work on Pinterest. You can make it work with lower ticket products. There are many, many examples. I'll show you guys in a second some of the examples of those uh, products that you can just, you know, basically learn and emulate and, and just, you know, start selling too. Uh, but this is basically the overview, right? And uh, the tracking is very like accurate. My experience only like maybe a few percent off, but it's very, very accurate in Pinterest. So this is approximately what we had on our uh, Shopify side as well. So this is basically how it looks like. So I want to show you guys pretty much how campaigns are structured on Pinterest overall kind of like bigger uh, like broad overview I cannot go into like too much details because this is short video but uh, guys if you are looking for like full overview and kind of very detailed to the point and very like just inside of the targeting um, all of these like details and uh, you can sign up for a waiting list for my training that I'll release it's pretty much full case study of this exact product this exact you know the whole strategy that has been used here um, pretty much I reveal all of that for you guys so you can just take it and emulate it for yourself uh, for your own businesses right so this is um, so there should be a link below you can just put your email when it's when it's ready we'll we'll just release it for you and uh, you'll get access to it uh, if you want so uh, this is how it's structured right so Pinterest operates on ABO right so it's pretty much the asset budget optimization so when you are setting up the campaigns it pretty much gets you, you know, you can set up the uh, budgets you can see here on the uh, ad set level and you can set up also the target CPA, right? So target CPA is very similar to what you have on Facebook. 
on, on Facebook, you can have like manual bid, right? So very similar in Pinterest. We have tested automatic bidding, but I see better results now with the uh, manual bid where we can control the bid. It has worked for us was approximately, you can see these are like different bids and you can see the bids that worked for us been like 25, typically like 20, 25 dollars. So this is what has been working for us so far on Pinterest. Uh, we, we also like try to bid like higher and sometimes it works like $35 for example. So sometimes it works, but most of the, like the most successful uh, ads have typically had like 20, $25 uh, bid. This is pretty much how it looks um, on the, uh, on this side. Uh, we have multiple assets per campaign, right? So we just have, uh, we have multiple campaigns, but inside of those, we have assets, right? So it's very similar to Facebook. The whole overall structure is very similar, but there are like few different differentiations. First is that you have to set the targeting here. Like you have to set up the kind of the bits on the asset level. You have to kind of like manually do it. If you want to, I, I would prefer to do it manually. And then um, you can also adjust it, right? So for example, if you wanted to increase it, we can easily do it here, but you cannot do it like very aggressively. You have to do it like, gradually. Also, uh, there is the targeting is very like targeting options for interest are very good in Pinterest. So you didn't have to, you didn't need to have like a lot of kind of like targeting options to do very well with it. And also the benefit of Pinterest is that like it gives you the breakdown here. You can see, you can break down by interest and you can see kind of like what interests are working the best for you, right? So that's, that's the benefit of it. And so this is pretty much how you, uh, how you can structure it. Also, there are like product groups, but we don't have this option available yet. It's because um, we are focusing on one product. If you have like multiple products selling through like more like a catalog, then you have this option available. Now, the most important part here, guys, is the ads, right? So the ads on Pinterest, you can see here, these are the ads. And um, sometimes you would have like rejected ads, depending kind of like what product you are selling. But the benefit of Pinterest is that they do not ban your ad account uh, even if you have like lots and lots of these like rejected ads so this is the benefit of it and also uh, the uh, you can see kind of like the all of the metrics here um, you can also see the uh, destination url right so you can see kind of like all of these things like in one on, in the one like overview right so it gives you the good kind of like understanding and good perspective on what's working and what doesn't. Pinterest is pretty consistent day to day. There's very slight amount of optimization like required. For example, if campaign is performing, then it is performing. So the most important part is just like initially getting that uh, traction, getting that momentum. And so guys, if you're looking for basically for a full overview and pretty much getting that initial attraction, there should be the waiting list um, for the training that will be released. Uh, where I kind of like go into each of these elements into like bigger details, show you exactly how we structure it. So this is the overview, right? This is the overview. And very important here, guys, this is something that you can like take advantage of is having this like these like conversion uh, windows here set up uh, properly because here you can see if you set it up, for example, for standard window, which is 30, 30, 30, this very like good hack I learned from um, when advertiser shared it with me. So 30, 30, 30, then it won't be as good as one, 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 because you will be, you will not be able to see the conversions that have actually happened today to see conversion that happened today. Like you have to do like one, 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 and then you have to do the date of conversion. Event. So this is one hack guys that you can start utilizing uh, immediately for your, for your Pinterest campaigns. This is basically how it is structured on, on Pinterest guys. You can kind of like, like replicate what, what I have done here. You can see kind of the, the structure for the campaign. So there are multiple campaigns here. You can see, you know, they spend like different, like different amounts of money, like here, some campaigns like naturally perform better than others. Uh, but overall, like on average, you can see they're about like three extras. Some of them are performing worse. And I found that's like very similar. It's like, for example, if campaign has like bad performance, like from the start, it's typically best to just shut it down and put your budgets into better performing campaigns. You might have a lot of rejected ads. And uh, for that, for example, if you have something that's working, but then you have like a lot of rejected ads because uh, Pinterest might review your ads like from time to time, 
then what you can do is just like duplicate the campaign and you can see uh, that works um, like that that might work for pretty well so you might just increase your spend and have more ads approved without doing any kind of like without submitting any extra ads there are a few more like hacks like to pretty much eliminate kind of like this rejected ads issue but that's uh, that's quite normal at least they don't ban your accounts like like Facebook or you know or other other platforms so this is the overview guys this is basically how we have scaled this up to three hundred thousand dollars the uh, product here is in health and wellness space also like applicable to like beauty kind of like beauty niche uh, so it's quite tricky it's um, it's very hard to sell on Facebook when Pinterest does very well but also it's not the only product that you know that do well on Pinterest I'll show you example some of the products that do very very well on Pinterest if you just scroll to your account on on Pinterest right you can see for example there are certain like beauty products that are doing like very well like for example this company here they're doing like extremely well they're selling all kinds of like beauty products right you can see all all of these like different different products uh, 10, 10 million plus so if 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 someone like generates like 10 million plus visitors like views per month right it means that they're doing quite well on pinterest so that's kind of like good indication of the company that actually performs quite well so you can see they they do like hundred thousand visitors per month very good percentage like half of them social and bigger percentage is actually from pinterest so shows you that beauty niche is definitely very very like applicable to pinterest you can make it work on pinterest and uh you can see these guys are advertising and getting a lot of traffic from there you have also for example here the cases right so for example this one is selling you can see they're like just different like tag accessories right and so and again like the, the easiest way guys to like just emulate and like see kind of like whether the platform makes sense and that this is like you know the the same thought process that we go through like when we launch like a new offer or we we exploring like the products to sell uh we would just go and see if the company does well on on uh, on certain platforms and where they actually you know take their traffic from for example this one is just incredibly uh incredibly powerful you can see here uh, they're not only depending you can see majority of the traffic is so is um actually search and social uh so the so pinterest is more like supplementary for them not the main channel so they uh, actually have very good like search rankings it seems uh so people search for it like organically uh then for example this one here another great example you can see here so they're selling like they're selling like different types of like devices and this is most likely this is most likely some affiliate tools affiliate program that they're selling you can see all of the links are leading to the amazon right so just you can see so companies um manage to make it work even like promoting some affiliate products and uh for amazon commissions right so for example this one here another ad so this one is like closing like apparel brand let's see how well it does so again 6.6 uh, probably not the best example uh, to uh, to emulate so we'll just go and search for other examples here so again uh, you can see just like that you know found like few examples of the of the products that could be sold and also like we have like validated it for uh, for several niches right so we see that different niches can be can be made like to you know to work on uh, Pinterest this for example right great website I mean looks looks like branded but they it, it's uh, it's a drop shipping website um, from my observation let me see here so they're doing like about 100,000 and a lot of people are actually searching you can see Pinterest is not I mean it's not like extremely big so probably not the biggest um, the best like example like to uh, to emulate this company does extremely well on Pinterest and so just from scrolling guys you can see here right just from scrolling literally within like five minutes I have like many many ideas on what to sell and for example you can give this like task um, for example this one the outlet shops right you can see like just general store uh, like very very simple products it's always the same format it's always the same team for these general stores uh, these are the companies that do it on a massive 
massive scale. So we'll just see the stats for this. Very new store, so not even like present, but by the number of views, we can see that there are a lot of views and you can see all types of products that are being like sold. Magic eye cream, right? See wrinkles, so these are even these type of products are getting approved on Pinterest, right? Whereas like probably in other, uh, like in other, you know, platforms, you probably won't be able to get something like this approved. Dog products, right? So all of these, right? So this is, guys, there's a lot of, you can see there's a lot of proof. You can see some French uh, website here. And so, and this was pretty much how we kind of like replicated and found this, like the strategy to sell this product. We'll go and see what type of creatives are working for, you know, for other people, then we'll take it, replicate it, and basically apply it to, to our funnel, um, funnel system so we have the biggest chance of making this work. And so guys, if you're looking for help with any of this like Pinterest um, strategy, then uh, there should be a link below. You can, can apply for the uh, waiting list uh, for our training program when it's released, and we'll basically help you to jumpstart all of these uh, all of these things in your own business. You can see there's a lot of opportunity now. It's not as saturated as Facebook. They don't ban your account. So there's a lot of opportunity that needs to be seized right now. So this is it guys. Uh, thank you for watching and um, I'll see you in the next video. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments about Pinterest. Uh, please join the waiting list for the, uh, for the trend if you're interested and subscribe to my channel, like this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.